Washington. August 25 – A historic record photo of former U.S. President Donald Trump. Shared by the Georgia Courthouse Thursday evening. Is being turned into t-shirts. Shot glasses. Mugs. Posters and even bobblehead dolls by friends and foes alike. The photo of Trump in red tie. Shiny hair. And icy scowl was taken during the Republican presidential candidate's arrest on more than a dozen felony charges, which is part of criminal case stemming from his attempts to disrupt the 2020 election. Supporters and campaign managers embraced the of Trump's arrest as they rallied around Trump's allegations that the charges against him were politically motivated. To critics. The photo is a symbol that it finally caught up with itself after a long list of legal issues. Trump's Save America fundraising committee never surrender. Passport t-shirts. Drink holders. And coffee mugs. His son. Don Jr. Markets free Trump headshot photo t-shirts and posters. On the other side of the political divide. Project Lincoln. A prominent anti-Trump group founded by Republicans. Sells shot glasses containing passport photos and FAFO. Short for fuck and find. A rallying cry among Trump critics. The craft site Etsy has dozens of sarcastic items. Including a parody of the Taylor Swift concert t-shirt. An unaffiliated t-shirt store in Los Angeles was already selling tops with this on Friday afternoon. I think it's a very classic consumerism spree for this country, said C.J. Butler, a shopper from Atlanta, Georgia. He sells everything. So why not a t-shirt? Some political strategists predict this could be a major fundraiser for the Republican candidate. Super fans will see this. And sending 25 and getting that shirt or mug will be a fist-pumping exercise for them. Said David Cockle, a senior Republican presidential campaign officer in Iowa. It's kind of sad that at end of the day campaign will celebrate his 13-charge indictment. But that's our policy. Beginning with his first indictment in New York. Trump has spent months trying to leverage criminal investigations against him to garner support from his own base. Fundraising groups, including past current presidential campaigns, reported that it has invested more than 98 million in business operations since 2015 and purchased items such as bumper stickers, hoodies, coffee mugs to sell. 15 t-shirts showing criminal photos of former President Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani are seen at the YQ Printing House in Los Angeles, California, USA. August 25, 2023. Mario Anzwoni licensed rights speaking to after Wednesday's Republican debate. Campaign associate manager Chris La Civita said his team is focused on turning the four indictments. Positive. I think they made sure we made lemonade at every opportunity and we did it. Veterans of other political operations said campaigns could profit 50 or more from product sales. And La Civita on Thursday warned those trying to monetize the without campaign's permission. Legal.